Stampin' Friends. It's Marilyn with Stamping Creations with Marilyn. Here to show you today a technique called Emboss Resist using the new shimmer paints that, that we have. Today I'm going to use the Bright Copper. There is also a Vegas Gold, Frost White, and Champagne Mist. So you have a number of different choices. This one, because I'm using the the darker tones in the fall and the leaves, I decided to use use the copper. So before I get started, I would like to share the sizes of what I'm using. I have Whisp, uh, Whisper White, Erlium Espresso <laughs> with five and a half by eight and a half folded in half. You can see I have stamped on the inside of the very vanilla and I've also stamped the greeting with the very vanilla. So you need two pieces of the very vanilla. The stamp set I'm using is Rooted in Nature. I have the wood set. You can see it comes in, in two cases. Lots of different trees. I have used this leaf for my stamping and these are the verses I've used. Very versatile set. Also comes as a bundle with framelits. To cut out the trees and uh, other things. For my greeting, I use the oval thinlets, the scallop one and the plain one. So I've got those ready. And I have the two very vanilla, like I said, they are five and a quarter by four. Also a piece of copper, which is five and a quarter by two and one eighth to go behind. The piece we're going to stamp on which is your glossy paper five and a quarter by two so we'll go ahead and do the stamping and then i will show you how i got it to be the different colors or the the color behind it not different colors it's because we've used the brayer with the early espresso ink and after it's dried so that you can roll over it make it as dark as you like you can see the shimmer in that. It just turned out gorgeous. Just love it. So, so to use these shimmer paints, you shake them up. And the lid, the paint in the lid fits our daubers. So I just used the dauber inside there. Dobbed it off a little bit on a piece of paper towel so it's not quite, and it's going to dry a little faster. And then just put ink on the, the stamp and stamp couple things with the glossy paper. It is slippery, so you want to make sure you're not sliding around when you go to do the stamping. So just stamp on your, your white paper and if you have to re-ink it, you can use more with the putting the lid back on the, the shimmer paint and shaking it up again. I just did a random pattern on this piece of glossy paper. And you can see that it is shimmery and needs to dry. Okay, so now we have a dry sample. You can see that it has dried. If you look closely at it, I can touch it with my fingers. Of course you can't. But I've taken the sponge brayer. These come two handles and four rollers in a pack. And when I go to ink it up, I want to start off and end off with rolling it all the way across, not back and forth, because I want ink on all of the roller. And the same when I go to put it on my sample, I want ink on all of it. So I'm going to start off the paper and roll off it. So you can make it as light or as dark as you want. I want mine quite dark because I do want it to, to match the early espresso card base. So I'm going to apply quite a bit of ink.
okay I think that should be good for what I'm planning today then you can take a piece of paper towel and burnish it to get the ink off of your stamped images which is why it's called resist because it resists the ink and there is your gorgeous piece of paper okay now I have adhered my leaf layer with the glossy paper to the copper a little bit of copper showing on either side I will go ahead and adhere that to the front of the card I like to put it over towards the right hand side for this particular design I always like to burnish the back of my cards after I put the adhesive on and then I'm going to mount that on my card base which I have stamped the words on the inside the as I showed you before I have done the, the greeting I'm going to put it on with dimensionals little bit about the center wherever you like and there is your card I think that's a technique that I will be using lots with these shimmer paints if you like to uh, subscribe to my youtube channel so you don't miss any of my my videos that would be great see you next time